Hello, this is Talita, and today we're going to be doing an Eagle Soft tour. So the first thing we're going to do is double left click on the Eagle Soft icon. So you're going to select your name from the drop down menu and enter your password and then click log on. And when you first log into EagleSoft, the first screen that you're going to see is the practice management screen, which is also referred to as the front desk. So here, all the pictures on the screen are actually interactive. So if I hover over here, you can see that there's a little label that pops up that tells me that's the time clock. Here I have the on schedule. And if you actually hit the F2 key on your keyboard, you're going to get these labels that pop up and they're all interactive. So that means that you can click on any of these words and it will take you to that particular screen. So for example, if I click on the on schedule label, it will bring me to today's schedule. And as you can see here on the left hand corner, you have your calendar which you can navigate up to three months the way that we have it set up. You can go on today, you can go three months ahead, six months ahead, three months prior, six months prior. Or you can also use these arrows on the toolbar, which can bring you to also today, one day ahead, seven days ahead, or backwards. As you can see here, the appointments are color coded. So for example, if we double left click on this appointment here, it's going to show us that it's in yellow because that's the color that it's set up for Crown and Bridge Prep. Also right here on the appointment card, you can see the provider information. You can see the duration of the appointment. Also the procedure attached to that particular appointment. And you can also navigate to other parts of the software by going on this upper toolbar. From the schedule, you can easily navigate to the chart of that patient as well. So if I left mouse click on this patient here, you can see the red border indicates that that patient is currently selected. And all we need to do is come back to the toolbar and click on chart. So if there were any medical alerts, you're going to get a pop up. And here what we see is we have our tooth chart and the little eye next to the tooth number indicates that there is an image for that tooth. So when I left mouse click to select that, you can see that the image that has been taken for that tooth populates on the left hand side. From here, you can also navigate to the perio chart by just left mouse clicking on this third icon down in the bottom and clicking on perio. And here you can record your perio charting. From the chart screen, you can also go to the note history by click on the drop down menu here and clicking on note history. So here you could see the entire history for this patient, but you can also filter. So maybe all you want to see in here is actually just chart information or clinical information. So you can filter those out so that all you see is chart information. You can also navigate from here to the advanced imaging screen. So if you are going to visualize all the x-rays together, for example, all the four bite wings or the entire FMX, you need to go to that screen. From the appointment itself, you can just go to view images on the toolbar. And if you left mouse click on an exam, you're going to be able to see the entire exam in one screen and by left mouse clicking on each image you can see that it populates a larger preview right below. This patient for example has a full mouth x-ray so if we left mouse click on that patient's name to select and then we click view images and left mouse click on the full mouth exam now you can see the entire full mouth. 
and you can drop this line down here so you can see a bigger image of that exam as well. From the appointment screen, you can also navigate to the patient's card. So if you left mouse click on the patient and click on the little edit patient icon on the toolbar, now you can see the edit patient card where you have the patient's demographics, you have all the other family members easily accessible, you can switch to, or you can even schedule that other patient from the same family. You can also access the account information. So if you left mouse click on the patient and click on the account icon, now you can see the account for the entire family. And it is color coded. So depending on how it's set up, you're going to be able to easily identify which items are pending insurance payment, which items are personal payments or insurance payments. And you're also able to see account notes as well, depending on how it's set up. You have your full toolbar and you can navigate through any part of the software through this toolbar as well. can also look at the treatment plan for that patient. You can also view prescriptions for that patient. So if there had been any prescriptions, you would see a history in here. You can preview the medical history. You can also take a quick peek at the patient entire history. So if you're wondering when was the last FMX or the last cleaning, it's very easy to find that information as well over here. From the chart screen, once we have performed the procedures that were on the schedule for today, we can highlight those procedures by left mouse clicking them and we can right mouse click and post to walkout. So what we're doing is we're letting the front office know that these are the procedures that were performed today. From the schedule, we can also walk out this appointment all the way, collect any copay if there is any copay due, and submit to insurance. So if I right mouse click on this appointment, go to practice management and account, Now on the bottom here, I can just select the tab Walkout. Notice in here that the treatment plan items pop up. And the only two that are marked as checked are the ones that the clinical team has marked as post to walkout. So we're going to use Selected Plan Services. And we're going to Save process the walkout statement, and here we're going to just submit our claim. From the front desk screen, you can also navigate to the clinical screen just by left mouse clicking on this window. We have our patient selected up here, and from the clinical screen, we can perform any type of clinical tasks. We can view images, we can click and open the chart right from the screen as well. We can view the note history, and from here we can also navigate to the schedule. And at the end of the day, when we are done using EagleSoft, we are going to log off. and exit. And that's it for today. Next lesson we are going to learn how to add patients.